Previously on Nino Kune 2, Revenant Kingdom. And now Zeus to wallow in to bathe in. The slather all over your little mind. The slather all over your naked bodies. Mm, just like this cocoa butter. Mm. <laughs> oh, God, get me out of here. And now back to. Holy shit, Rowan's got a gun! Hello! Sneak up B. Back with some more Nino Kune 2, Revenant Kingdom. We last left off, we finally figured out what kind of banner we want our kingdom to uh, stand by, and that is the Banner of Peace. So yes, we are putting together the Declaration of Interdependence, totally different from Independence. And we're going to be calling all these people together. And then the foul boss this game is going to begin, so that's right, fucking Nicolas Cage. You've gotten your last National Treasure, motherfucker! There ain't going to be a National Treasure 3. No, I've got to do this. I'm doing this to save the future. I'm Nicholas Cage! No, die, Nicholas Cage! <laughs> I'm tired of your shitty B movies. I liked you better as Ghost Rider. But yes, anyway, so I went ahead and worked on some of the city uh, a little off screen. I, I sort of learned that the progress of the city, I mean, aside from, of course, the caps that you, you, you hit or the, or the things that stop you from going further based on either not having enough people or certain types of people, the only way to really progress with your, your town is just to wait. <laughs> and, you know, I can't really, in a, in a single recording session, I can only get so far in my town, and it's usually really slow. Each time I re research things, it could be 40 minutes to an hour. Not to mention, I was really slow uh, getting money, and I've also seen it's really slow to level up your, uh, your townsfolk. They actually do level up. I've come to learn that they start as beginners then they become veterans and then they can become eventually masters but they get experience so slow it's just a waiting game honestly i mean you can spend uh king's guilders to speed up research processes but it's so expensive and it only goes up 10 percent each time you do it i was like you know what if if that's the case i'm just gonna leave this fucking thing on for a while so that's what i did i left the I left the game on, I left it uh, to earn me some money, and then I would just periodically check in, research a few new things, buy maybe a few more buildings, because as you get more buildings, you get it increases how quickly you get money, you know? So I, I hope you guys don't mind this, but I did progress a good bit uh, through this next part on my kingdom. I just, it, it was all just waiting, and it's like, <laughs> basically what I was doing, I'm like editing videos, and then on the side I have the game just like sitting on. And I just waited for the majority of it. But yes, now I have a ton of influence. I've, I've already almost up to 12 million influence. Um, and I bought uh, most of the buildings that uh, that are currently available. I mean, really, you didn't miss anything. I, I know some of you might be like, like oh, I'm kind of bummed. But I I'm going to point out now each thing and what it does and, and what happened with it, okay? I managed to uh, upgrade my whole bubble rate to level 4, uh, which is the max level. Uh, I, I came across now the, uh, the quality control thing that you guys have mentioned, uh, a special prayer that could bump up quality of items enemies drop. I also got, uh, the Apothecary's Creed Intermediate, but I can't actually get any further with it because someone needs Cauldron Sense, and I, I haven't come across that yet. But yeah, that's actually, like, that's kind of it for that one. There's not much left, uh, going on for that one. I did upgrade this to level 2, and this, all this seems to do, uh, upgrading this, it just gives you, uh, boosts and in influence, and I'm actually finding that is the case for a lot of these buildings like really there's no other point to upgrade them other than just get a massive boost in influence which means more money over time i'm for the most part have maxed out all of my uh my places where i can get like items like this at least where i can so we got the humble bazaar and the fresh fish market and the farms and stuff those have been maxed out from from the first area in the, like this first tier i unlocked a bunch of new ones over here after going to level two but they can they can only go to level two and from what I could tell, it seems like these ones actually go a step up in rarity and what in items you can find. So, like, if I look here, so I got, like, Prickle Pepper and then uh, better quality claws and uh, threads and stuff. See, there's Grass Green Thread. Even on the highest level of the Bazaar back here, I actually can't get Grass Green Thread. See? I was kind of thinking, like, what's the point of this? Why do I need this many Humble Bazaars? But it's actually better to place people, I think... Uh, in the newer stuff over here than the older stuff because you'll just get better quality things unless you need like some low-level thing uh, uh, In particular, um, I got this thing called the dimensional lab uh, Strange space where the details of other dimensions are investigated I actually managed to max it out. Uh, this really didn't change a whole lot it basically 
those little statues and signs outside of it weren't there before. Um, so every time I upgraded it, and I think actually it was one floor lower than it is now. And uh, this just has a whole bunch of stuff that helps my uh, traveling through the Dreamer store. So safer dimensional diving, makes your maze is safer by slowing down the danger gauge and then slowing it down a lot. Uh, orb smashing avoidance. I don't really understand this one to be honest. Avoids destroying orbs so you get more of them in the dreamer's maze. I can I I can destroy them. I mean, I can actually break them. Is that what that means? I I, I don't really understand that. Uh, this one I can't get. Um, yep, because I need a staff member who knows metaphysicality. As an energy two attacks that causes dreamer's maze foes to drop two orbs. Um, then we also have these things which are uh, detectors and locators that uh, I'm guessing mix uh, like so idols, dreamer's doors and even treasures appear on my map. At least that's what I'm assuming. I haven't actually tested it out yet. And then we also have the fruitful dimensional delving, uh, which sharpens the senses when in Drew's Maze. So more items show up. And then this one that helps users sniff out treasure chests and Dreamer's Mazes more easily. I don't know, they seem kind of similar, but I'm not really sure to be honest. Because these are called volume one and there doesn't seem to be a volume two, I'm assuming there must be another dimensional lab that I can make. I guess, once I've upgraded my kingdom some more. Uh, we've got this thing, which, uh, Dispelery. A sanctified space where items can have curses lifted from them. Let's see, uh, oh, that's right, Lily can go in here. I don't think I've actually gotten any cursed items yet, so... Uh, I just built it, but just to get the, the influence, but I, I haven't really needed it yet. This thing's pretty cool. The Sage's Salon, lively debating space where great ideas discuss all the latest minds. It basically is a place I can, where people I put in here get extra uh, experience. And, hey, we got some people who leveled up. Fantastic. Uh, because I spent all this time just sitting here waiting, my, a lot of my townspeople have leveled up, but I, I want to stress to you guys, I've had this game sitting open for like a day and a half, all right? It is really fucking slow. And some of the buildings actually require, for some of the research, it actually requires like certain skills to be mastered you know, before you can even research it. So it's like, it's like, holy shit. So I feel like it's just better just to and then like a more of a time saver to just have left it open a little bit in between so then I'm not just like trying to squeeze it all in a, in, a, in a single episode, you know? I wouldn't be able to squeeze it all in a single episode. But yeah, so people you put in here get experience more quickly. Uh, I don't really, it doesn't tell you how much more experience they get. That seems to be the only uh, purpose for this building though. Um, and as you level it up, it doesn't even increase how much experience you get, it just increases how many personnel slots you get. Um, then we have a couple of lumber yards, nothing really too different from that. Uh, I've got this thing, the Symphonium, which uh, I haven't found anyone to actually work it yet. But it's just so I can listen to music, so I'm guessing I can at some point listen to songs from the game's soundtrack. Uh, again, I have the, a couple of bazaars. I have a place that I can... Uh, build research better boats, but I actually need to be able to get a boat first before I can create it. Um, we have the uh, an Arenella Square, and this is actually already level two. When it was level one, this little thing in the center just wasn't here. That was the, that's the only difference. But yes, it created this uh, nice little brick square, which is pretty. And I'm I'm betting I'll uh, be building like a little fountain or something in the center when it's like maxed out. But this is actually as much as it gets, and all this gives me is a ton of influence, and I mean a ton of fucking influence. Uh, look at that when I. Once I uh, get Kingdom level 3 and I upgrade to the next level, it'll go give me a million. I was like, oh my god, I had to get this. Initially, I was only going to buy a couple of things, but when I thought about it, I was like, let's just, just do it. I'm, I really did think about this a lot because I, I want to be able to show all you guys, you know, progress and things like that. But when something like this, that it just involves waiting for extended periods of time, and I just sort of thought, like, there really isn't anything to show aside from the landscape slowly having buildings added to it. I'm hoping that you guys aren't like pissed off that I, I decided to sort of progress with this a bit. If the system were a little different, I wouldn't have done this, but just the fact that this so much involves so much waiting, I figured this was just the be best way to make the most of the time while still being able to show you guys the, the fruits of my labor, you know? Uh, so I got this one, the Institute of Innovation. This was also a really good one to get. Uh, it's already actually been maxed out. Research how to run your kingdom better. So it's things like increased, improved resource gathering. So the citizens get items much more quickly. That get added to my stores, better construction efficiency, so lower construction costs, lower level up costs, uh, reduce how much research costs, improve their speeds by 10%, and then this one I can't get yet because I need someone with technophilia, uh, which will improve uh, techniques that boost research speed, so when I do those things when I want to boost research speed by spending KG, uh, I'm guessing this probably be like, instead of 10% up at a time, it's going to go up like 20% at a time. I'm, 
I'm just guessing. I find there's a little empty space in a couple of spaces, like, like right here, where it's like, it's clear something's gonna go here, but I, but I can't do it yet, so I'm, I'm guessing I need to wait till like level three or something in my kingdom. Uh, the good fellow's in. Uh, the only purpose of this is literally for, again, more influence, so, uh, and I've gotten it to level two. We got another fish market. Uh, I haven't gotten any, like, fishing people yet for my, uh, my town, so I can't really fill out any of those things yet. Uh, a number of gardens, uh, I also have this place finally for where Yukon can go, and she's also master level now, yay! It's nice to me, some people you get start off as beginners, but I've also gotten quite a few people who start off as veterans, so they became masters really quickly. And we got some more different ranches. Again, it's just like, I think another tier higher in terms of what rare items you get. Um, that's really the only differences, the mining camps, the hunting lodges. Uh, this thing, this was very useful. Basic training facility for combat and other useful skills. It, Researches ways to earn more experience. So this has actually been maxed out as well. Uh, so we got improved party member experience, heightens party members awareness, allowing them to earn more EXP, uh, citizens getting more experience, which is definitely uh, helpful. Though that said, it's still incredibly slow. Uh, and then reserve experience. Uh, even though from what I could tell, party members in the that aren't being used have still been getting a good amount of experience. This apparently improves it even more, which actually makes me wonder if maybe this totally negates uh, them not being in a fight anyway, like so they get the same amount of experience regardless um, Then we have this one which I haven't been able to get because I need someone with dog at Barry an intensive training program that results in higher EXP earnings from skirmishes So yeah, still got a lot of things I haven't unlocked for for that reason uh, The barracks I did actually max this out and I oh yeah, actually I got everything here uh, so advanced shock tactics uh, An improved shock tactic whose power sends enemies flying in every direction more might uh, more spoils of war, improved command post efficiency, uh, boosting the military might added by command posts, okay, uh, better guts getting, uh, that increases the speed at which guts gauge fills, which is, I guess, which is what you use for your, your, your shock tactics, I think, right, uh, and then improved command post defenses, add siege towers to Evermore's defenses in order to fortify them further, I'm not quite sure what that means, to be honest, I don't know if it means the actual kingdom or something, or when I take a, com oh, when I take a command post, it automatically adds a siege tower. I, I I don't really know to be honest. By the way, you guys also give me a lot of tips in terms of the skirmishes. For one thing, I I wasn't pressing the correct button. I was uh there's X for movement and then square is for offensive, uh, and I kept hitting X for movement but not the offensive thing, um which was kind of hurting me here. I've only upgraded uh the four main buildings here to level two. Um. I didn't want to go any further than that just because I didn't want to take away too much from you guys. Uh, I've, I have researched, I think, mostly everything that I can for all these. Like my third Higgledy cookbook, Cookie Ladies for Less. They get more experience from the stuff I give them. I got the melee weapons uh, ranged uh, all the way to level three. Uh, efficiency, which decreases uh, weapon dev costs. Uh, improve the forging techniques so the initial quality is, little, is one point higher. Uh, a skill unlocking secret weapons, a secret technique that enables the awakening of extra weapon skills. I oh, right, no, th so this, what this actually ends up doing apparently is, I've only actually only come across one weapon that had this, but some weapons you come across only have like question marks on the perks and skills that it has, and you can use this to unlock it essentially. And when you do, it's usually something really good. Oh, hey, whoa, already up to 70,000. Right. And now I've noticed that when you, I think when you have anything higher than 50,000 kg, uh, Roland actually gives you like a, a different expression. Tyler's efforts of your system have earned you a total of 70,000 kg. With these kinds of resources, you can do pretty much anything you want. Be God of this world, damn it! Oh, yeah, baby! So we'll knock him from veteran to master. <laughs> I've grown so much since I came to this kingdom. Coming to serve you was the best decision I've ever made. Their stats really go up just a little bit. It's not a lot. See, so like, 5, 10, and 5. Yeah. I take aim at something. I never missed my mark. I swore to give it all that could to this kingdom. My resolve has not wavered one bit. Okay, and finally, Peachy. Hello. My fingers to the bone, but it's even it's been entirely worth it. I can feel my abilities improving day by day. Now I'm ready to bind every myself even tired of this kingdom. We have a truly wonderful future. It's actually my been Oh wait. Oh almost there, young man. Uh oh. And Tobias, and that's it. Everyone else has actually managed to reach master level. I told you, I like I kept this on for like a day and a half. But even then, it was still wasn't enough to max everybody out. So it really does take a long fucking time. All right, well, might as well research this. Bring down dev cost by 30%. Okay, and then for uh, Evermore Spellworks, which is also just level two. 
Uh, I got to level three in terms of uh, the different spells I can get. Uh, but I also it also added two new uh, spells I could learn, which was uh, Nature's Tongue and Spear Medium. So the ability to talk to plants and animals, and uh, to talk to the uh, the departed. So now I can talk to that uh, ghost that w I came across in that uh, that one area, which I'll probably go back and do here in a second. So that's cool, and uh, I don't know how necessary these are to the, to the main story, or if they're just like for extra bonus stuff. I think that's about everything. I've, I've gotten everything in the Explorer's Guild as well, which actually kind of makes me wonder, like, <laughs> what else can I do with this? Uh, oh yeah, I got more stuff. So now my maximum storage for items is 150 uh, for what my uh, townspeople pick up. Uh, proof forging techniques enables valuable objects to be more easily spotted and recovered on land. I don't really know what that means, to be honest. Maybe maybe the nicer ones will sparkle different. Uh, make your food go further. It causes food to make you feel full for longer. Um, oh, yes, and then we have the King Mix Kingmaker's Cathedral, a sacred space dedicated to the glory of the Kingmaker. But I think I need... Oh, I've actually done any research in this yet. Um... So we got the Kingmaker's Blessing, a prayer for healing that makes Lofty give you more green balls, and then a prayer for aid from on high that makes Lofty give you more blue balls. Blue balls! Okay, and then you can actually build a uh, garden around it, uh, but I can't get it yet because I need someone who has found the inner peace skill. Okay, I believe with that, that's pretty much everything. Um, again, I hope you guys don't mind that I went and kind of worked on this some off screen. But anyway, it seems like when I level these up, these cha the changes the buildings of these like considerably. So I, I decided to keep these at level two. Everything else is pretty much just like, it's like the same building, but you just add like a little, new little thing to it, you know? So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and level up uh, my four main ones now. Level Higgly three, let's do it. Whoa! See, look how different that looks! Alright, what we got? Uh, my fourth Higgledy cookbook, and my fifth Higgledy cookbook. Oh, I need a staff member that knows Higgler's instinct. It does kind of make me wonder, then, if I actually, maybe at some point, will recruit that that crazy dude. Uh, oh, we also got another one, Fluency and Hig. A complete rundown of Higgledy biology that helps reduce costs by 30%. Ooh, nice. Okay, well, that's what we're on Higgledy 4. Okay, level up the weapons place. Cool. Okay, melee weapons four, range weapons four, qual development two, full potential and further weapons. Allows advanced weapon improvement, enabling 10 improvements instead of five. Ooh, nice. All right, let's go with uh, level four then. Young young main leveled up. Yes. Work harder than anyone you'll see. Harder than Gauchi and harder than Bygone. Definitely harder than my brother. Oh, your brother. Is your brother gonna be the, I bet he's the other one that's over in gold paw that she looks just like and I, who I mixed her up with. Oh, it, it, it is, because his name was Low Main. Ah, ha, ha, ah, ha, I get it! Guys, see, look how quickly I'm building up money now, though. Like, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. But yeah, so you can boost your research, but it's like, how much does it cost? 12,000. I mean, I've got a lot, but it only goes up 10%, so it's like, it's honestly just usually better to wait. Okay, uh, we'll go ahead and knock this one up to the next level while we're at it. Oh, cool. These look, these look, end up looking really different. Loving them up. Uh, hone techniques, full potential and further for apparel. Same thing as with weapons. Okay, that's all pretty basic. And finally, the spell works. So it seems like I can go to a level four for them, but I'm gonna have to get my kingdom to level three. Okay, uh, spell development. Staff members know scholar sense. Oh, that's, I think that's the uh, the dreamer door lady. I think she has scholar sense. So I have to get her to join my team first. And oh, hey, research into the use of spring lock. A spell that unseals the un inaccessible. Hey, that give me a way to open those blue chests now. And then we got uh, research to rejuvenate. A spell that restores things to its former glory. Interesting, so I can actually get that through here, not through the main story. But I do actually get rejuvenate. Means could not use that on that plant from earlier. They end up using that uh, bodily's uh, shit on. Well, in that case, let's go ahead and research spring lock. All right, you know what? For this one, actually, let, let's. Oh, I do want to get this one as quickly as possible. So fuck it. I'm not, I'm not getting two minutes down for twelve thousand each time. But whatever. Who gives a shit? Boom. I'll be able to open those fucking blue chests. All right, and then we'll just do. Oh wait. I don't, I don't have anyone with tactical wizardry, so I can't get that one yet. Or this one. Damn. That's me. I'm gonna get for there. Uh, oh, right, I can uh, upgrade the general store to level three, too. Ooh, nice. 
I guess it's probably all right to research the, uh, the quality control thing. I kind of waited because I wasn't really sure if, well, maybe there's a quest or something that I might, I might regret doing that, but I'll be all right, I think. Okay, Geralt, see what you got now. Uh, okay, that's all pretty much the same. I've got a lot more different uh, fish and materials. You still don't sell, sell the fucking green thread, though. Oh, I can buy uh, the ruby hue bloom now, which is what uh, Oliver, or not Oliver, Evan. <laughs> Sorry, I keep calling him Oliver. Got Ollie on the brain. Uh, needs for his fire skills. Okay, yeah. Incre it basically increases uh, her materials. Yeah, like this one. I haven't gotten any of these yet. Ah, <laughs> Billy Button. Oh, hey. Got a totally new one, Pyre Pillar. A maelstrom of flame is conjured up, doing damage to all foes it strikes. Ooh, nice. Boom. So we got the Pyre Ball, which is the upgrade of Fireball. Oh, Sunrise. Balls of light fly foes, dealing damage as they strike. Oh, good. Okay, that's a light attack. That's what that is. Oh, oh, what's this? Bring back impa incapacitated allies and heals everyone's HP as well. Oh, fuck yes. Seraphic Silk. Oh, fuck, where do I get that? I don't think she sells that. Come to do some shopping, eh? No. Do any of the bazaars get it? No. Damn. That sounds awesome. I want that skill. Oh, good sunrise. I was hoping I get some kind of healing spell. Oh, oh, that's cool. If I hit R3, I didn't realize I could do this. I can see where they're acquired. Holy shit. Not even realize that. Oh, thro oh, I can get in the Thriving Bazaar. Also, Freezy Bones Cave and Jack Frost Playground. I have not come across yet. Oh yeah, I've got to rank all my items up to level B now. Pressure drop summons a ball of energy that low, that's low in damage but can stun foes to a stop. So just bestow upon Daddy Roland. Uh, spark shower. Oh, she can also learn lifeline. Nice. A storm whipped up, summoning down lightning all around the caster. So this is basically my uh, my area attack from it for magic. Uh, ogre's fingers. Stone pillars are summoned from the ground, striking enemies from below. Oh, right, I got some. More quests ah, here. You have a moment to spare, Evan, lad. You've received a letter. A letter tied to an arrow, no less. Mm -hmm. uh, an arrow? It didn't hit you, did it, Genghis? <laughs> ah, it was a close call, but I managed to pluck it out of the air in the last second. The Sky Pirates has sharp eyes, lad. And a good job, too. <sighs> oh, thank goodness. The hell did you manage to do that? But who would send a, me a letter like that? Here, why don't you read it for yourself? Dear Mr. Imposter, there's only one king of the Heartlands, mate, and that's me. So I've taken me land back, and I'll take your castle and all if you don't mind. Ha ha ha. Catch you around, mate. Tyran, real king of the Heartlands. Is this the guy we beat up the first battle we had? Mm. Tyran, he's the, yeah, he's the bandit we fought when we first came to the Heartlands, isn't it? <sighs> hey, same lad, he thinks he's claiming to some uh, precious territory. Well, he may think that, but he can't let him take our land. We certainly can't let him take our castle. That's all the hard work I put in this, all the time and money. Yeah. Uh, bless we can't. Got no fear. We'll soon send the swamps a packet. The liberty of posting a sentry outside the castle walls. Wanna go inquire as to lay the land? Hmm. I will thank you, and I shall make sure these bandits don't cause too much trouble. Okay, cool. I get a baby buckler. Okay, we got another person over here. Fox and Tommy, I'm just come look for you. Messy, I've been asked to pass on a message. Another message? From who? Yeah. The leader of the army's army of Gopal. They would like to stage a mock battle against our forces. Oh. They're keen for our two kingdoms to share battlefield know-how. That sounds like an excellent idea. Where were they planning on staging this battle? In the hills to the east of Gopal. In fact, I believe they are already there waiting for you. Oh. Oh, then we better head over there right away. Hmm. Sorry to be hasty, Your Majesty. The battle will not be an easy one, and Gopal's forces are not to be underestimated. Their hammer attacks in particular can be brutal. Be prepared. Hmm. You're right, Minty. Thanks for the tip. Here. You're welcome. But even the best advice in the world can ensure victory. Once battle is joined, it'll be up to you to smash the dog soldiers and show the world the might of evermore! Hmm. Don't worry. There's no way we're losing this one. Man of level 25. Oh, oh, there's the song, but oh, that's right. That's probably what those are for the the important songbook items. Okay, I'll do that later though. So the recommended level is 25. Does that mean skirmish level? If that's the case, then oh, I am not even anywhere close ready for that. All right, got melee weapon development is completed. Level four. All right, let's go ahead and do the full potential and further weapons too then. Okay, fourth Higgledy cookbook. Should probably check that out. I haven't actually checked the Higgledies in a while. I can't get the fifth one yet. Uh, or that. 
Yeah, it's as far as I can go. Holy shit, look at all these guys. Oh, hey, we finally got dudes that cost level two. Which must mean they have some good stuff, huh? Ball, ball? When the Higgledy falls in battle, they will sometimes drop a Higgledy ball. Better, better. Cures an Alistas ailment. Higgledy days. Unleash a dazzling blast that not, can knock enemies out cold. Rock shock. Boost the chance of the player stunning the enemy when awakened. Is there anything particularly, like, amazing there? Oh, yeah, the sort of by type, too. Cumberbund the Clement! Now, <laughs> this one's got, this got sunglasses. Can't buy, like, any of these. Oh, wait. This is I don't have any money. I need money first! I wonder what their max level is. I got some good weapons now. <laughs> Mom's favorite pan. But I'm gonna need some money first before I can get any of it. All right, so real quick, let's go uh, talk to that ghost that I came across before. Well, I'm still thinking about it. Now I've got the ability to talk to ghosts! And I'm gonna keep an eye out for animals. Have I really come across many animals now that I think about, though? All right, Shiverwood Shrine. The guys in here are pretty strong, too, actually. But I think I might be strong enough to actually fight them now. Uh, it's still being a little tough. Fuck it, I'm going for it. You ready for Don't this? Don't give a shit. Boom. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Fucking ready for you now, bitch. Loki Twinkle it, tune it. Ooh, a dozy lizard lance. That's going out tonic. Oh, yeah. Definitely. De can definitely handle it. Ooh, a Tranquilium Nugget. Oh, my God. So much stronger. Yes. Slight chance of putting foes to sleep. Yes, please. Thank you. Here it goes. Oh, here we go. Oh, more power for rolling. It's a lot of these moves that I haven't actually used yet. Oh, my God. Oh, this move sucks. Hail goes up forever. Ah. Fucking die. Oh, holy shit. Somnium Nugget. Okay, here's the ghost. You will have seen any number of Higgledy stones over the course of your travels, I'm sure. I believe they have recent really come to be considered sacred. In truth, it was I who created them. It was several centuries ago now, of course. First, I simply carved statues of Higgledy's for my own amu amusement, but they soon proved rather popular. Before long, I was receiving regular commissions to create more. <laughs> I must have completed around 30 in total. It was only later that I learned that Higgledy's were somehow drawn to them. It seems this is why they came to be worshipped as they are. Oh, okay. So there's a, there's a total of 30 of these things. Of just the statues, and the rest I'm getting from my Higgledy thing. Uh, just creating, creating them there. I see. Okay, cool. Well, tells me how many, uh, I have to look for. Oh, there's the pyre ball right there. The powered up version. Uh, give me your power! Boom! 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 Ultimate demon power! Holy shit, look at rolling go! Oh! Oh, and his superpower mode, he sends up flying blade beaks! Like fucking Link! Ugh! Uh, that's right, I forgot a Higgledy statue in here, too. Okay, you're the one with the one with the bone, right? The twirly turny ones, yeah. Okay, it's the giant. I'm hoping it's the giant ribcage. Because I only got one of these. No, that's not what it wanted, motherfucker! The twirly turny ones. Ah, oh, you little shit. I should have saved before I tried that. Oh, well, let's try one of these other ones. I don't think there's any of these then. Must be some rare ass shit. I want my ribcage back! Oh, there are Hindleys here in Buck Coil. Okay, apparently the uh, spell to understand animals does not affect you guys in any way, because you still sound like. <laughs> Still making non nonsensical higgledy piggledy shit sounds. Higgledy piggledy, bitch! Yeah, actually, I don't see any any animals here. Hey, there's a blue chest. I had a hard time remember where all these blue chests were. Yes. A profiteer's pendant. Ooh, that sounds valuable. Slight boosts money dropped by foes. Oh hell yeah! Yes, please. All right, well, Matt, let's go ahead and. Uh, Check out the remainder of side quests here. We got still four people here. You, yes, I've got your sister on my team. <laughs> you, you look suspicious to me. You think you can evade out the all-seeing eye of Lord L Long Ming, huh? Show me your entry papers now. Hmm? Oh, fuck you. I've been here like 30 times and I've already saved this kingdom. Right? Like you don't know who I am. Entry papers? Ha, huh, exactly as I thought. You do not... Have permission to enter. There's no use in denying it further. You are a spy hoping to slip into the city undetected. What? Uh, what the flip? What? Why would you think that? 
What the? Hello, oh, man. Are you accusing visitors in our kingdom again? I hope you not leveled any of your blood accusations against them, you little shit. Why don't we even let you in here? Get the fuck out! How dare you? I am simply taking reasonable measures to keep undesirables out of Gold Ball. Why would anyone object to that? Yeah! <sighs> Every time. Every single fucking time. And it's the same thing. Completely apologize. That is the pup's name is Longmane. He's notorious for costing travelers in the manner you experienced. He's a little asshole and everybody hates him. He said he was trying to keep undesirables out of Gold Ball. Yes. Maybe what he what he believes, but it's nonsense. The Andrew Pepper, he's in a mass professors don't even exist. Oh. Oh. So he's just he's one of those guys. Huh? Yep, pretty much. Boy's truly a thorn in our side. He's only a guard in training, and he's taken it upon himself to defend the kingdom single-handedly by being a dick to everyone. We've tried ordering him to cease and desist, but we will not listen. I'll just say we do about him, but I'm lost to what? Hmm. Well, how about I murder his ass? Oh, there we go. Then I'll give you $100 as a prize. Totally worth it. Well, his methods might be a little unusual, but his heart seems to be in the right place. But he wants to protect his kingdom. Yes, I have to say I'm quite intrigued in this long mean fellow. Let's go and talk to him again. Really, man? He seems a bit like a tool to me. <laughs> oh, hey, there's Dog and Bearing. Great. Inspiring earnestness that can help boost work at the training ground. Yes. Oh, and I also get songbook number 31 from him. Oh, we also got this big, large fellow over here. Huh? Oh, you must be the new delivery boy. Where have you been? We have many, many orders waiting for um, you. Um, delivery boy? I, um, I think you've mistaken hey. me for... We have no time for chitter chatter, child. You have orders to but, deliver. But, but, but... Okay. What is our motto, hmm? That's right. Fast as fate, delicious as destiny. So get these hot steak spicy noodles delivered and quickly. You have three orders waiting for you already. You have three minutes to deliver them to the hungry people of Gold what? Ball. Three minutes? That's fucking impossible! If our chefs can make them quickly, you can deliver them quickly. Now prepare yourself and speak with me when you're ready to set out. Y yes, sir. <laughs> oh, Evan's such a good little buddy! This is a question he just sit just does it. Oh! I don't actually get you on my to join my city? What the fuck's the point? <laughs> Hot streak spicy noodles. Okay, well, fine. I'm ready okay. to deliver. Can I teleport? Just carefully wax my words deliveries are deliveries are for. You'll find a first customer in the back streets of the river. It's a sweet little girl with a bowl haircut. Okay. The customer is also in the back streets. Her house is located above the street level. Just told my she will be wearing a red dress. Okay, bowl haircut, red dress. Her customer will ring at his home in front of the library. He's a poorly, poorly old gentleman with a bushy beard. Complete your deliveries in any order. As long as you clean it quickly. Go on, boy, go on. I'm gonna eat this shit myself instead. Here I go! Oh my god! Oh, I can't actually see him, though. Can I just teleport? Oh, I can, maybe! Damn, I got cold through the teleportation! Then I threw that shit on me. You didn't tell me I couldn't. Yes! Okay, good. I, it, it at least shows me who it is on the map. Hello there! Eat! Eat the spicy noodles! Let's deliver! Okay, let's! Hot stuff! Okay. Just eat it! Eat it! Shut up and eat it! There's no time! Here! <laughs> I just come over there and smash it in their face. Boom! Here's your soap, bitch! Oh, dude, you gave me, you gave me plenty of time. There's like, no way you could run out of time doing this. In less than a minute. Hmm? Oh, no, no, no. Tidy! Oh, there you are. I heard you complete all your deliveries on time. Now, switch the start to your career, delivery boy. Now, for your next assignment. Oi! Oh, you listen! It'll be no next assignment! You know why? Oh. Lofty, why didn't. Why didn't you do that the first time we talked to him? I don't know, I just like seeing you run around. You're cruel, you know that? You are not a new liver boy? Oh dear, what a misunderstanding. Why did you not tell me immediately? Well, I tried. <laughs> I did. Well, I tried to anyway. So, I must apologize. Please accept this bonus payment for your services as compensation for the misunderstanding. Oh, fantastic! Gambling Gourmand. A new recipe for uh, my chef. So follow this recipe to the letter, and you'll be able to reproduce the likes of seat swap sweet. <laughs> Sweet saffron tea house in your own home. Oh. oh, how wonderful. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, that was a bit of a palaver, but I'd say it was worth it in the end. That's what, Kevin. And I even got my own hot streak spicy noodles. Oh yeah. Hello. So... So, a bun costs 100 guilders, and I have 500 guild. I give you 500 guilders. How much change do you give me? Um... Don't know. Hello. Hello! <laughs> Hello there! What are you doing? We're planning on opening a shop when we're older, so we're practicing, just like Miss Henry taught us. Mm -hmm. uh, Miss Miss Annie? Surely not. 
You know her, Evan. Mm -hmm. Back when my father was alive, Miss a Annie would give sometimes come to the castle to give me lessons. Huh. So she was our tutor, huh? We have to know wh where Miss Henning is now, would you? She told us she was going to Forest Nile. She's taking some textbooks with one of Nile's apprentices, I think. I'm really worried about her, though. Dad said the forest is full of wolves. Oh, my. Wolves? Oh, my. We better go after her and make sure she's all right. Hey! Oh, there, yes. Princess Leia, lady. It's Mentor's Instinct, an educational aptitude that can help boost work at the Institute of Innovations. Ooh, and I got a dark hag finger. Uh, How are you? How are you? Hello there, young man. I'm pleased to say this is your lucky day. You see, I've been looking for someone with whom I can share my tale. And what a tale it is! The account is such bravery and daring do that it sure to provide a source of strength and inspiration. It begins half a century ago, when I was but a young pup trying to make my way in the world. What? what wait, what's going on? What? Let's make yourself comfortable, Levin. He's got a feeling it's gonna be a long one. Mm-hmm. It does sound rather interesting, though. In fact, I'm rather looking forward to hearing it. <laughs> God, you really are wide eyed innocent, aren't you? <laughs> Say that after five minutes of listening to this shit. Right. And so I went on the towns of the world with my proud prowess. I traveled distant kingdoms and smoked tire herds of ports. My bare fucking beard. I took to the high seas and pressed schools of ferocious thing thingfish. I once even brought down a wave worm with a single wet plow placed arrow. So stop her, invincible. I am a god of this world. Most greatest warrior. Gosh. Gosh, that's well, incredible is the only word. <laughs> <laughs> You are impressed, I see. No doubt you are wondering how you might too develop such a reputation, yes. But fear not, young man. I've had a trial for you. A, a trial? Indeed so. You are journey to the shrine near the city to got a fearsome monster by the name of Kam Vlagra. The ominous smoke that surrounds her will make her easy enough to recognize. Hmm. Not ominous smoke? That sounds familiar. Yeah, man. Certainly does, man. We both know what we're dealing with, by yeah? Hmm. She's a vicious creature, no. No mistake, she seemed to enjoy nothing more than the sight of hapless travelers turning tail and fleeing in terror for her forces on slots. Which I say I could not have a triumph for her in my younger days, of course. My days taking its toll, my powers I fear are on the wane. No better than seek such confrontations now. Oh. Oh. But what? <laughs> it's time for the younger generation to take over. You must smite the beast in my stead. In doing so, you will prove yourself worthy of being my successor. Arr, arr, arr. All right. All right, I'll do it. I'll go and defeat that dick for you. Thanks. Excellent. I know I would not. You would not let me down. Are you sure about this, man? I mean, have you really thought through, though? Prophet like? Hmm. What's to think about, Lofty? If there's a monster been affected by the awful darkness, someone's got to deal with her, or we'll be in, all and be in trouble. Besides, let's see if I'm g as good as he was. <laughs> ha! I knew he reeled you in with some tall tales, Viz. And so Kingmaker, I'm obliged to say you're only twice the father he ever was. So only one way to find out for certain, ain't it? Okay. Defeat Conflagra. Also not. I don't actually get a dude out of this. God damn it. Alright, let's go ahead and work on Lemaine's thing here. Hey man. Ah, you again? Can't see I'm engaged in an important mission. I'm too busy to talk. Leave me alone. A mission? What kind of mission? Keep an eye on that man woman over there. They have a deep conversation for a suspiciously long time. I saw him make out one point. They took pictures and shit, don't worry. But why exactly? And look, look how close they stand. Only do so if they did not want to be overheard. They're spies, it's gonna see him bring Gopal to his knees. Um... But they look just like ordinary couple to me. <laughs> Silence, I gotta focus on my mission with you chattering away. Huh, it's no good. My focus is ruined, to come back later. Do not get in my way again. Wow, this guy really is obnoxious, isn't he? The ardent guardsman, yeah, he's a little too ardent. And I guess I keep running around bugging the shit out of him. You again? You didn't tend to disrupt every one of my missions. Mm. Yes. What's the assignment this time, Longmane? You see, it's Corpier. He's clearly a suspicious character. I'm certainly stealing from the house and using the might of fun nefarious in our a activities. Really? What makes you say, think that? My instinct, of course. What else? It's the only thing a soldier can truly rely upon. But you you can't just. I can. Something must be done with this criminal. If he's allowed to continue acting with impunity, you bring Gopal to his knees. We're all doomed. I stick out Master Brignace's ask him to swear me as a guard. Then I'll be able to make the arrest. There it goes again. Look <laughs> at on uh, Evan's face. Just looks like oh look at him just fucking everybody's day up. Well as long as he's having fun. Hey. <laughs> oh God. 
Please, I must speak with Master Regnatius. Can I remain any training any longer? Demand to be sworn as a guard. How about a game of dice? <laughs> Don't do it! Ridiculous. You're ridiculous. You again. How many times did I tell you? Do I have permission to be here? Now go home. <laughs> immediately. Yeah, they will not listen to me. None of them. Who could possibly have any objection to swearing one such as I and as a guard? Imbeciles. Come to Evermore, please! Leave these people alone! Excuse me. Why, why would I want to invite this guy to my kingdom? Seriously. Yes, come to my kingdom so you can bug all of my people. I'm going to go back. Everybody's gone except for this little asshole. Longmane, have you really want to be a guard that much? Why don't you come to my kingdom? Be happy to have you. And use someone with your spirit. <laughs> ha, out of the question. What? 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 Why not? I have no time to waste insignificant backwaters. I have a glittering career to be getting underway. Of course, if you were to prove your worth by smiting the fugitive criminal factions known as the Pork Horde, and the Vernators, perhaps I might reconsider. Oh! Really? Then we'll go and take care of them right away. Back in no time, you'll see. Oh, good lord, Evan. You're just too nice to people, seriously. Ha, we'll see about that. Each is a sizable versus force in its own right. Together, Gosh. blah, blah, blah. Whatever, I killed like 30 of each of these. Gosh, sounds as though it might be quite the battle. We'll win the day, though, you'll see. Ha, your confidence is quite something. Solid smiles are known as the Lord around the calm lands. Don't come back to me with excuses and I'll be able to find them. Okay, we won't, so don't you forget your promise. We'll be holding you to it. Okay, let's go smoke these guys. Oh, it's a it's a skirmish battle. Uh level 10. Yeah, you know what? Sure. I'll give it a try. <laughs> we'll see how, how it goes. Okay, I gotta remember, it's not X is just to move quickly. Square is the one that I, I should have been pressing for this time. Okay. Well, the good news, at least I can give myself a bunch of boost. Like everything. Okay, I think I'm gonna switch out the Salty Sky Serpents for uh, these guys so I can have spears. Because I already got her for long range. Also, I kind of forgot to use her skill last time. I was a little confused about how that had worked exactly. I think I'm gonna switch him out for this. Cause I, a commanding warrior fires up her troops, boosting her attack power. That sounds a little more useful than just like a single one-off move that can hit some dudes. Something that actually, like a boost that lasts for a while sounds nice. He's got one that boosts defense. This one could instruct a large cannon. This sounds good. All right, let's give it a try. Hmm. Santa Park and blah, 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 blah. Hmm. Better be careful. Sounds like it might be quite a handful. We will win this. We will win to. this. Oh, they actually have, each have more people than they usually do, don't they? I'm guessing that might have been from one of my upgrades. Oh, hey, there's some military might right there. Just sitting, just hanging out. Now, forward! Big now, boost. Forward! Oh, they can get, get kind of stuck though in the, in the terrain. Oh, there they go. Okay, I'm gonna need hammers for these guys. Oh wait, no, uh, spears. Charge! Try this for size. Hunting. There we are. Now. Ah! Oh yeah, there we go. More of that. Good stuff. All right, go off so far. Don't fall off the cliff, off the cliff guys. <laughs> yeah, see, look, they're like stuck over there. <laughs> Help us out! <laughs> Come on, guys, keep your shit together. I can do here. We are. Oh, we got more people over here already. Boom! Get back here, bitch! It's why ferns must be the fern of the. Make your way onward. Wait, where am I going exactly? Oh, here we go. Boom! Full boost! Charge. Come back, Minty! That's doing her own thing. Oh. We're like, snort, snort, everyone calm down, get us this stuff, no one gets hurt. Yes, ah, uh, get us all your stuff. But uh, certainly will not, you're just a bunch of dicks. Now die all of you! In it though. Yeah, I'm sorry I get half, no packing in. Come in, let us swallow you! Uh, Minty, where did you go? She's stuck over there, get your ass over here! Ah! Uh. 
Ah, kill him! Oh dear. Move away! Hey there. Oh wait. What's Ready? up? Everybody! Boom! Oh. Ah. Hold on! To lose. Boom! Gotcha! Oh! Yes! Did it! Let's go and give Log me the good news! <laughs> oh, can't we see a look at his dumb face? We won! Hooray! What's the best? Hooray! I'm never gonna keep me down! I got a victory bonanza! Alright, cool. I love, love, love him up quite a bit, too. Alright, you guys told me apparently in order for uh, ranged units to attack, I have to not be moving. I, I, I kind of forgot a bit about that when I was uh, fighting there, so. What? You really did it? You feed both the po poor cord mm. and the burninators? Of course we did. Like we said we would. Now, I believe you made us a promise. Suppose I did. I'll begin my glittering career as a guard here in Gopal. What kind of word would I be if I went back on my word? Very well. Wonderful, but are you sure? Do you seem to have your heart set on this god thing? I do. You know I spend my dream to work my way through the ranks of this kingdom until I'm worthy of fighting alongside the great Yapi himself. He's my inspiration. He's a great warrior, but he's also kind of dashing. I've always wanted to be mm -hmm. like him. And you will be, I'm sure. In fact, I'll train with you. Become mighty warriors together. First, you gotta get up to my league, bitch. The precocious geniuses. Oh lord, okay. I can actually add him to my party too. So what does? Uh, what do you bring to the table? Oh wow, you're actually already level ten. You're big. You're powerful on the grizzled veteran. <laughs> How does that work? Uh, the unit's presence on the field boosts the attack power of all allied maliteers. And it's deafening roar, ear swing sound that rattles enemy troops, stopping them temporarily. I think it's the same as, uh, yeah, it's the same as the, the salty, uh, sky serpents. Freeze them in place. Yeah, I kind of like the, like the silver foxes one better anyway. Tobias, yep. now master. So as after battle, you feel like you've really learned something. And I've learned the most valuable life lesson of all. Don't be a giant pussycat. Taking a new step, you know? Gosh, do I ever feel like that right now? Unfortunately, Longmane is a fucking beginner. You're starting from scratch, you piece of shit. But, okay, got full potential of weapons. And now full potential of armor, I think. As well. Okay, now in the train grinds, I get uh, result in higher experience earnings from skirmishes. Now I've got this little shit. There we are. <laughs> now I've got everyone at master level, except for any of the new people I end up getting. Holy sh- Oh my god. That's the bounty for the mom and child. Uh, oh! Oh, he's only level 27. Okay. I was like, oh my god, it's a fucking dragon. Windworm! Ah, oh my god, I've never fought one of these before. Ah, bleh. Get back here. Oh, that damage. Ah, eat shit. Dead. I don't know what they were complaining about. That guy was easy. All right. There. The roof from Gopal to Capstan is safe again. The monster said we, we met won't have to take the long way around. Huh? Hmm? Something wrong. Not exactly. No, no. It's just I was thinking about when they told us what had happened. We got ever so angry, Roland. And I've seen you like that before. Usually so calm and collected. What happened? Oh, that. That's when the mother said we... Should should let just let the monster have its way. It reminded me of something. It must have been about your age, I guess. These kids from the neighborhood were bullying me. What? What? You were bullied, Roland? Yep. That's when I learned about my passion for guns. Oh. Please tell me this story doesn't end with you shooting the kids. No, of course not. Okay, good. Instead, I sharpened a stick and stabbed them in their face. Oh God! Sure. Damn. Sure. And I was a pretty small kid, so there was no way I could fight them off. Whatever they did to me, just had to take it. Aw, I was coming home from school every day. My mom was got, got pretty worried. That was the worst part. I didn't mind the bullying, but I hated seeing her like that. So I knew I had to do something. So when I picked up my first sword. Just a toy, but I didn't care. I did what I could to stand up for myself. I had to. You can't give in to bullies. As simple as that. If you try to put up with it, 
you always wind up losing something. <laughs> so, when I heard the lady say what she did, I guess got me pretty bad. Sorry, shouldn't have gotten carried away like that. <laughs> oh, it's alright, Roland. I'm glad you were able to be so honest with me. I'm glad we finally get to learn something about you. Now I'm more sure than ever that I made the right choice in making you my chief counsel. <laughs> huh. Thanks, Your Majesty. Mm. Right, let's head back to Gopal and tell our friends the monster's been taken care of. Uh oh. Now that I think about it, I told my son the exact same story once. Aw. Uh. Oh, is that the only mention we're gonna get? No! That's ah, alright. So I'll bring it up later. Roland's son. But it's alright. Got a new son now. That's right. And I'm way cooler. <laughs> we took care of that monster for you, ma'am. We won't need to go the long way around anymore. <laughs> you you did? Oh, goodness. Did you hear that, my darling boy? The road to Cap Stan is safe again. <laughs> alright. Thank you, mister. You're a true hero. And your little friend, too. <laughs> I want to be like you someday. Do you have any advice for me? Huh. Hmm. Let's see. First thing you need to do is learn to use a sword. The most important thing is that you take good care of your mother. Golly. Golly. Roland really does remind me of father sometimes. My god. The daddy material of Roland. Ah, oh my god, he's so daddy to love it. Oh, huh? Huh? Hmm? Did you say something, Revan? I was just saying how much I love you, daddy Roland. I love you too, Evan. Oh no, I was just thinking about how lucky I am to have someone as dependable as you to look after me. Oh my god. Ah! Uh. Heh. <laughs> you wouldn't have said that if you could have seen me at your age. Luckily, I'm old, older, wiser, and stronger now. If I could put any of that to use in your, saving your world, all the work I put into coming this far will have been worthwhile. Well, actually, I'm I'm older, but then I got put in my younger body, which is just the best it could possibly be. Imagine that. You're your older, wiser self, and then being put back in your young, strong-ass body. You're like, oh, yeah! <laughs> this is awesome! <laughs> and then it, when he gets older, he's going to be even older and wiser. You're not that old, Roland. Oh, yes, I am. I am very old. Glad to hear it. I'll be counting on you, Roland. And I love how your little ponytail just kind of floats in the air like that. How's it doing that? I'll tell you how. By the power of Daddy! <laughs> That's your answer to everything, Daddy Roland. And I love it. Heh, <laughs> and I'll be counting on you. Alright, Swordsman's Rope. Uh, where is it? Oh my god, it's a fucking outfit! <gasps> oh my god, yes! For, for Daddy Roland! Uh, oh! <gasps> oh my god, y'all of my yes! I mean, his classic outfit looks cool, but this shit right here. <gasps> oh my god, that is staying on you for fucking ever. Oh my god! Roll it! Where? Oh, damn it! I can't see him out, in the, out here, but... Oh! Roland's like, ah, oh, god damn, I make this look good! Daddy Samurai! <laughs> wow! Oh, he looks... It does look really good. It's so dope! Ah! Oh, ah, oh my god! Ah! Oh. I love Daddy Roland so much, why? Why is he so awesome? Ah! Uh, I didn't think you'd get any cooler, Daddy Roland, but clearly you thought wrong! <laughs> oh my god, so cool. I, that's awesome. I like how we all get different outfits. I look forward to getting other outfits for uh, for Evan, Tani, and uh, Batu, too. I mean, I can even get Roland's uh, Phoenix Wright suit at some point. That'd be that'd be cool. That was a person on the world map over here. Ah, <laughs> oh, the force. Oh, 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 this is part of that thing. Uh, how... level 14. Uh, okay, I might be able to do it then. Hey, you know, let's just, let's just do it, all right? Let's go for it. My opponent for today, thank you very much for agreeing to participate. What the? What the flippin' boss come from? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's all part of the fun, little friend. Oh, oh, they're camouflaged. <laughs> I'm sick, huh? Let's go, boss. No one hit him. Good Stick luck. out the old laddie. Oh, boy. All right, here we go. Gotta keep an eye out. So they, they said hammers, right? So it means I'm gonna want my sword guys here. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh wait. Hi ah! Oh, they're surrounding me! Oh god! No 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 Okay, go! Okay, switch! Follow 
Okay, switch again. Where are you going, you little bitch? You better run, motherfucker! Oh, wait. Hammers versus thumb, yes. There we go. We can't afford to lose. Okay, I think I'm starting to get the hang of this now, at least. Here we are. Here. Go build the command post. So yeah, I've noticed now with the command post how it works. You, you build them back up and then slowly get more boot, uh, might over time. Uh, okay. Defense. Uh, the gate's open, everyone. Good luck, troops. Oh yeah, I'm kicking their ass. Oh. Hey there. Wait for you, King Evan. We're all set to move on your command. Thank you. All right, thank you. Let's get moving. Oh, yes, new guys. Okay. Yeah. Ah. This should work. We Here we are. Yes, we win. Charge! Flip! Oh, what the hell is that? The English man. I'm gonna tell you what. Ah, uh, okay, hammers. Some about a flag fish! Ah, kill him! Ah, there we go. Here we are. Oh wait, we're not done yet. Oh wait, uh, other way around. Ah, uh, break it. Break it, break it, break it, break it. Ah, uh, call in reinforcements. Let me show you what I can do! Ah, uh, <laughs> uh, look us run out. No bomb blocks away. Go no further! So that far hard nut, track, and be a bit of a way. I, I kept seeing that their might went to zero, so I thought I was done. I was like, oh wait, no, no, I'm not done. Just so gonna lure their ass over here. Uh, actually, no, it does not seem that way. Oh, okay, uh, this way. Boost. Boost. Never let my prey escape! That's the stuff! Oh, I think I shit. That was even he was hammer, wasn't he? I probably should have used the other ones. Oh well, whatever. Ah. Get blue for you. Oh my god, we're still going! Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, ah, uh, wait, no, red! Uh. All right. what? Uh, uh, uh. Kill them all. We good? Stop. Yep. He die. Well, be luck run out. Prepare yourself for defeat. Ah! Listen, you. Keep my voice. Show what you made up, man. I wish this would be a lot larger than I expected. Okay, swim around. Switch around. Wait, no, wrong way! Ah! The red one's for the green ones. When I'm looking at the little triangle up there, it's kind of hard to tell, like, wait, which one's the... It, it's like... <laughs> it's kind of hard to tell looking at it, which one are the good ones. I, I don't know. All right, here we go. Here we go. Bomb a square! Bomb a bat! Okay, switch them back this way. Ah! Glorious victory! Boom! Yeah, baby! Sound of victory, but more is lovely! <laughs> this feels rather nice. Valuable life experience. We won! We got a whole bunch Hooray! of exper experience as well! Okay, I'm, I'm, get, I'm starting to get the hang of this a little bit better now, I think. You need to not move around as much. Just make sure you keep rotating your guys, but not necessarily actually moving my guy okay. around. I uh, press key, King Evan. I must confess, I think you could defeat me, but you are a talented tactician indeed. Not exactly. Well, 
Not exactly. Well, it wasn't all down to me. Lots of people had a part to play. Minty gave me a very useful piece of advice for one. Oh. Minty, the sharpshooter. No she was advising the King of Evermore. This time we fought alongside one another. The way she almost seemed to be able to read her enemies' minds. <laughs> We're lucky that you won today. Minty does not tolerate failure, even in training. No matter when we can next work together. We were formed at least impressively to run a hundred laps around the Lucky Stars Casino. Gosh. Gosh, you're right. It's a good job that we won. <laughs> I'm sure Minty would be the first to acknowledge that your victory was richly deserved. Now I may have good fortune that won the day for you, your majesty. And we wish to confirm that you're a truly superior commander. Come and take me on again sometime. Close my battles on a regular basis. Say the word if you wish to take the field again. Oh, okay. What a good way to get experience. And song book number seven. All right. Okay, Conflagra is level 26, so yeah. I'll be fine. Uh, I didn't change uh, Roland's uh, overworld uh, sprite, though, when I changed his costume. Oh, well. Oh, there's a blue chest. Ooh, a savior's tier. Oh, is that revive everyone with, like, full HP or something? Revive allies with a lot of HP. Close enough. Oh, we got another blue chest over here as well. Ooh, some sovereign soar away. Wear a variety that glitters like gold. Only seem to grow where, where it's needed. Fully restores the user's HP. Yeah! That's what I'm talking about, boy! Okay, this guy has anything like the other ones. You can stun lock him into freaking oblivion. I don't know, these, these little fairy enemies seem to love to be stun locked. Ah! Boom! Huh. Yep! Stun lock, you don't give a shit. Ooh, 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 boo, ooh, ooh, ooh. Go, Samurai, roll it! Get wrecked. Three sages secrets, all right. Surely not, we're not defeated the smoke shroud mm. fiend. We have indeed, wasn't easy, but we managed it in the end. <laughs> <laughs> wonderful, simply wonderful. Great must heart and soul of a true warrior. Indefatigable, oh my God, indefatigable. Spirit, our great six our greater and greater challenges. Our dear foes to smite, our summons to scale. Cross the true path. On true path. You. You. Uh. <laughs> Forgive me. I cannot maintain this shred any longer. I think I told you it's been a lie. As much as I enjoyed looking upon, being looked upon with awe and admiration, truth is, I deserve nothing of the sort. I've terrified all sorts of confrontation. Not a heroic bone in my body. Murderly worthless. I've disgraced you, King Abbott. Yes, you have. Now die, old man! Oh, well, I don't think that's exactly true. If you really were scared of confrontation, you would never have told us about Conflagra. And that's just to go and defeat her. And made someone else do it for Thanks. you. Actually, that's exactly what I would have done, and I just did. You're right. What am I, what am I trying to defend you for? You are kind to try and put, draw positives from my cows. Not only are you a strong body, you're a gentle heart. To tell the truth, I've always thought of myself to be a, a little worth. This is no doubt why I turn telling such tall tales. You show me the error of such foolishness. You have a right future ahead of you. I'm certain of it. You may prove yourself to be a what mightier warrior than I. Well, the one, than the one I imagined myself to be. No, I, I don't know about that. Do me a favor. I have high hopes for you, young man. All I ask you to return here is to tell me of your adventures one day. Oh. Do that for me. Oh, of course. <laughs> arf, arf. Excellent. I wish you all the very best. All right, cool. He's dead now. Oh, all right. Tawny leveled up. She learned Hail of Arrows. Oh, wow, that's fucking powerful. A formidable move that rains down arrows on unsuspected enemies. Nice. Strong as shit. Oh, got another quest for somebody in here. In addition to uh, the one involving the Princess Leia looking lady. What's going on here? Hi. Oh, hello there, Evan. I was just thinking about you. You're a kingdom. That's me of the alpaca I heard her doing over there. Eh? Well, oh, she's all right. Hmm? Um, Mario? Mario? Ah, dear Mario. But she's causing her old man a mischief with her bow ears, eh? I'm ever so sorry, but I don't think I've ever met anyone called Mario. M Mario? You don't, you don't know Mario? Well, I never. I thought you wouldn't. Th thought you would know. She's a grandma kid just like you, you see. She had to flee Dingdong Day when all that unpleasantness happened. I'm sure she made it to, to everyone by now. I doubt. I know that's where she's headed. Grievance! I doubt she didn't get lost on the way. What? That would be terrible. Better go and take a look for her right away. Oh, that's Eris Akani. Now, I could, cannot tell you exactly where she might have gone to, but I do, do not know she'd have the alpaca with her. 
The two of them are young and easily distracted, but they're probably charmed by the wonders of the forest somewhere along the way. Thank you. Thank you. I'll search the woods to see what I can find. Oh, M Mario! Love alpacas! <laughs> oh my god, she actually joins me in battles, too. A knowledgeable alpaca rearing that can boost the ranch's productivity. Oh, and Jumble Woods. Okay. Getting lots of people now. But first, let's uh, go find that lady who I think I see her over there. Like she's about to die. Oh, oh dear. Whatever I want to do. Don't worry, Miss Eddie. I'm here. Leave this to me. <laughs> Leave it to me. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sweet awesome power. Oh. Thank you ever so much. I thought I was done for. G Golly, Evan, is that you? I've been so worried about you, dear. I didn't know what had become of you after the coup. But here you are, alive and well. Mm. It's lovely to see you again, Princess Leia. What are you doing all the way out here? Mm. Well, things in Ding Dong Tell have become rather unpleasant of late. By myself, set off somewhere else and do some teaching. That's all I ever wanted to do, you know. I don't care what tribe or kingdom my peoples come from. I just want to help them learn. Well, then you should come with me. I found it a whole new kingdom. You could be a teacher there. Oh, Evan, that sounds wonderful. I'd love to. All right, cool. Good stuff. Okay, let's go find the other person who is in Jumble Woods. Higgle the diggle the dick face. That <laughs> oh my god, you're so cute, you little, with your little pigtails and your flower, and your flower crown. Mm. Oh dear, where could he have gone? Oh! I think we found our missing person. You're Mariel, aren't you? Ooh! King Evan, gosh, I didn't expect to meet you here. Are you lost as well? Actually, wasn't Mariel the name of the, uh, the blonde girl's, like, other on the, in the real world? I think it was. She was, like, a recluse. No, we came here to look for you, actually. Would you like us to show you the way to Evermore? Oh, I'd love to, have to to go to Evermore with you, but I can't just leave yet. It's Paco, you see. My alpacas, he's gone missing. He ran off into the forest, but I just don't have the energy to go after him. I mean, you have barely gotten even two feet in there. Don't worry, Mayo, I'll go find your alpaca. You just have to wait here, all right? Thanks. Oh, thank you, King Evan. I'll wait right here, then. Okay. <laughs> Mario! <laughs> the name of the quest is Mario! Oh, wait, Daddy Roland's getting a good look at you now. Oh, yeah, Daddy Roland. Oh, looking good, boy. Uh, Evan, could you not look at me like that? It's kind of weirding me out. Sorry. Just in awe of your daddiness. Alpaca. Oh, there you are. Ah, uh, you're an alpaca? They were sheep. I want you in my kingdom. You are, wait. Really? You're a tiny alpaca, or are you like a baby alpaca? There you are. How'd you end up here? What did, I wonder. Oh, never mind that. Let's get you back to Mariel. Paco, Paco, Paco! Wait, I think I it might be something different. I thought alpaca was spelled a little differently anyway. So it's with an A, right? So you must be like the fantasy version of this world of an alpaca. It looks more like a sheep uh, in a mini alpaca. Oh, Paco, there you are. Thank you, Evan. You found him. Thank you ever so much. <laughs> now I'll be able to come with you to Evermore. <laughs> Wonderful. You'll both be very welcome. I mean, I'd be happy to take care of any monsters that are giving you trouble. I'm a crack with a bow, an arrow, you know, and it's the least I could do after you when it found my pack over me. Wait, wait, you can fight? Then why didn't you go in there? <laughs> that sounds good to me. Just promise me you'll teach him not to go wandering off by himself again. Yeah. Don't worry, I'll be sure he stays with me the whole time. Oh, go, Mm. Perfect. We look forward to seeing you there, Mario. There we go. The Sisters of No Mercy. No Mercy. Let's see, she's got last gas. Once per battle, this unit can come back from defeat with a few HP remaining. Oh, nice. <laughs> You've got your own second chance. Short shriveling. Weakens the weapons of the the enemy unit directly ahead, lowering its attack power. Ooh, nice. All right, quality control. Just the uh, quality of items I get. Oh, here's Twisty Bone. That's the and the catalyst to this one is actually the one that I would I need for that, uh, that Higgledy. The Twisty twi Turny type, yes. I have not come across it yet. There we got more quests here again. Pardon me, your Majesty, but would you happen to have a moment? Hmm. Of course, Henny. What's the matter? I was wondering if you might be able to help me prepare something for my next lesson with the children. Hmm. Oh, I'd be happy to. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you. You're so kind. At the moment, I'm teaching children how to tell different mushrooms apart. It's a lot of fun, but because once they've learned, they go out into the fields and pick them for themselves. That sounds wonderful. But they love your lessons, Henny. 
Well, I certainly hope so. After all, little ones learn more when they're having fun. Having said that, it's finally important that they know how to tell which ones are which. So I have to give them a test to make sure they understand. And I thought it, that if you took it first, it would help motivate them to take it seriously. After all, they do look up to you so very Gosh. much. Gosh. Gosh, a test. But I've never even been to one of your lessons. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't need to. But you've been all over the world. I'm sure you've seen more mushrooms than almost anyone. You'll pass with flying colors, I'm sure. Gosh, I mean, it's all very sudden. It's been ever so long since I took a, last, took a test. But I do want to help you if I can. All right, I'll give it a try. Well, thank you, Majesty. Appreciate it. Really do. Well, let's get started. Here's question one. Oh, God. Okay. Uh, it's a very poisonous mushroom indeed. The expert knowledge is required to extract his venom. Bring the mushroom you think it fits the description. We'll see if you got it right. Oh. Oh, okay. Show the mushroom that matches her description. I guess sweet dream truffle. I don't know if I have that, but maybe like this one? Mm -hmm. It's toaststool. It's just a mock toaststool. It's very poisonous. It's just like a mock toaststool, but it's very poisonous. It's the one you meant. Yes. That's the correct answer! Oh, okay, yes! <gasps> oh, I started to think I might have got it wrong. <laughs> so was I. So I'm gonna have to put this that face on. Can the children change their answers based on my expression, can I? Toaststool is one of the world's most famous and deadliest mushrooms. It's also the first one the children need to learn about. I have to be able to know that it for them before they can they let them go foraging. Thankfully, I'm surely sure all the children in my class are capable of identifying them by now. As are you, Your Majesty. Thank, Thank goodness for that. Okay, question two. Refreshing mustard tastes just as bright and breezy as it looks. Okay. Uh, the blue ski button, blood and tops or something? Mm. What's this, seven? Brought some blue ski button tops. They do look as bright and breezy as they look. Yes. That's the correct answer. Yeah. Thank goodness. I was nervous a moment there. Face doesn't give anything away, does it, Penny? You <laughs> 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 see, said. Evan said, uh. Do your nerves never harmed anyone, your majesty? You must st stay in your royal comfort zone all the time. Suppose so. I can think of only Bao could make me so tense. Well, you got it right, and that was a tricky question. Lots of children struggle to. when it comes to blue skis button tops. <laughs> sure, they do. It was, a lucky guess. it was a lucky guess, I think. Or don't like anything to do with it. Are you ready for four questions? Why well, the most difficult? All right. uh, fire away, Henny. I want to see if I can get them all right. Uh. This mushroom may look sweet and beautiful, but its flavor is fl famously awful. Okay. Uh, maybe this? The moonbeam mushroom? Um... Is this the right one? It looks quite pretty, and, um... <laughs> Come on, Evan. I think you, you You know that's completely wrong! Oh, my! Oh, completely wrong. Okay. Oh, my! Oh, my God! Okay, uh, I don't think I have it. I need some probably a bit rarer. Oh, dear, I wish I knew more, more about wood. Hmm? Wood? Is everything all right, Mario? Not really, Your Majesty. I've got a bit of a dilemma in my head, to be honest. See, my old pack has told me that the fence surrounding their enclosure keeps giving them splinters. Poor little things. They told you that. Of course, I said a repair for them. The truth is, I have no idea what material to use. I mean, sir, wood that won't give them splinters. Mm. I'd say some fine green lumber should do the trick. <laughs> I think I have plenty of that. It's like ideal. How much do you need, Muriel? Um, not very fits. Five logs are probably right. enough. Okay, I think I can do that. Blugga, blugga, blugga. Oh, no, I need one more. Fuck. Ah, oh, damn, I don't have any. Ah, they can't. They don't sell them here. All right, let's go get ourselves a boat. Or someone to make a boat. I'm on a boat, I'm on a boat, I'm on a motherfucking boat. Hello there. Hmm? Hmm. Oh, how do? It'll be this King Evan. No pluggy toast to expect, Hello. eh? Yes, that's me. Hmm. Well, you're a bit shorter than I would imagine it. Nice to meet you, Your Majesty. Name's right. I'm, I'm gonna graft around these spots. All right, I'll try to get this, this thing. Yeah, you know what? Why not? Probably you told me what you were after. But I'm not best, not best fixed to help you just now, if I'm honest. Oh, really? Has something happened? Oh, Say that, I. It were a few days back now. A load of boats were out fishing when a monster showed up and smashed the lots to bits. But the, yo the youngs went out to look for the snicker, sneeze the thing, but the poor blokes haven't been, been have been seen since. <laughs> snicker sneeze? That a word? I'd have to find to go after after the reckless wallies myself. Me, me sin, Oh my god! But I'd get walked like as not. Uh -huh. It's kind of hard to do the the Phoenix Force with this. So that's where everybody went. Hi. Hey Evan, if we help them out, they'll do us a favor, won't they? Yes. Yes, and besides, can't very well leave them to their fate to die a dumb death. Mr. Wright, we'll go and see what. What's happened to the other villagers? Oh, oh, oh. Shrub, really? You do that? Now go on then. I turn out off of him. 
All the thing lives in old shine out in the coast. Hoping the lads are all right. I smashed them both like they were not. Not. They were not. <laughs> Ourselves, eh? I think this might be where I've been before. It's like that little cave. Uh, the flora of Calcoa Canyon. The rot rottenness botanist. The Calcoa Canyon is home to the peculiar plant known as the prop leaf clover. By spinning its large leaves, it generates breeze that can carry its seeds far across the valley. And if it gets caught in a strong gust, it can even whip up a miniature whirlwind. This really existed. I don't believe it. Oh, a sinister scene. Another piece of concept art. The world of pictures. Oh, this is, uh, uh, one of the people in my town, I think. Waquan, or wait, no, that's Waquan. Here's a sketch that I made while visiting a cave deep underground. The dark water that flowed there still served to chill the air, and I could not help feeling that there was some presence lurking in the depths. As soon as they finished the piece, I raced back to daylight. I love your pictures, dude. I love you too. Yeah, the Brindley Shrine. Yep, I've been there before. It's a shame there wasn't a fucking uh, trip door to get back there, though. Yep, it's the place. Area just the right size for a fucking boss. Can open notice a glaring lack of shipbuilders. The wretched creature got them all up, you think? Hey! Over there, do you see? They're sitting on top of that platform. Oh, yeah. Let's go take a closer look, shall we? Oh. What exactly is it? Uh, um, some kind of cocoon or egg or something. Oh my god, there's a person in there. What? But what's that? Oh my god, did we step into an alien movie? Hey. Just alien just burst out of stuff. Oh my gosh, there's someone inside it! Huh? That's not good. My daddy senses are tingling! Everyone get down! You mean to say there's people in them? Every one of them's blessed things. Yeah, gr oh god, means we're gonna be a giant spider, right? Ew, how can they breathe? Let's get the farmer swabs out! Hmm. Careful. We're not alone. Oh, what the hell is that? Oh, like a spider. Oh! Oh, you're a big octopus! Looks like you only have six legs! Jelly Queen! Gruesome dr Grand Dame of the Gloomy Deep! Rudy Grand Dame to Groomer! Stick around the ship over to the wall. We have to hurry. I'm gonna slay this guy. It's time to die, motherfucker. Ah! Eat this. Oh, oh my God! Fire tornado. That was Eat my this. new my new skill. Boom. Uh, uh, uh. Take that. Oh, some power. I taste some antifreeze bone Come mail. On. Come on, we have to free them. Oh. You think crack you're out of there? Oh, you're a goner. You bring that good beast and papa, eh? How tasty you are. Not like, not like us lot. Is everyone safe? Mr. Wright was awfully worried about you all. Ha, huh, I bet you were. Now, they'll be not getting done, done with us all gummed up here. Best get back shop or she will never hear the end of this. Or, I told her, Tara for now. See you back in Capstan, eh? Capstan, Benamula. By the way, you guys told me, apparently, uh, Capstan upon Hull is supposed to be like a rather British name or something. Like, it's pretty common some places to do like something upon something. So, Capstan and Hull. Like, you guys give me an example, but I, I can't remember off the top of my head. All right, Capstan it is. Ooh, boost resist freezing, slight boost water, water resistance. Sounds good. Hey, your majesty, lads, lads are all back at Lincoln's town. You did a capstone upon all of <laughs> Great, big favor of that, then some. <laughs> you should have seen him right, right here. The kid's a flipping animal. Glad that thing what snatched us up, but like we're not. Bosh. Who <clears throat> <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Who you calling the kid, you sackless oaf? Say the bane from down the road. It's King. King Evan of the Earthlands. I'll have you know. Whoa. Uh, sure up. A king and all. At his age? He steals those hell too. Oh my god. He soloed that motherfucker. What's some king for all the way over all the way over Ale and far away doing come to rescue likes us? We need shipbuilders. Mr. Wright told us that the sh his shipbuilders need our help. So that's it, eh? Well, King Evan, it's built builders in each. You found your blokes. What's you after exactly? A nice fishing boat, maybe. Or summer to live it. <laughs> we can do a year right good houseboat if you need one. 
Ooh, a houseboat. How about a kingdom boat? <laughs> That's right, I'm putting my whole kingdom on the ocean. We need something big and hard wearing. Plan to sail around the world. Dropless first, and then, well, who knows? Everywhere. <laughs> oh, run the flipping world. Says it like, says it, says it, says it, says it like it's now. Not, oh, God. And I hate to disappoint you, but you, but, again, not get an ocean going boat. How do you get the wood we got around here? We'll be needing some proper wood and wear it. We as well swallow but uh, eat to pieces otherwise. Mm. Hard wearing wood. Hmm. I think we better go and speak with Niall. He'll know something we can use, I'm sure. I've got a lot of wood, so maybe some of the what I've already got. Really now, we'd best go and speak to Niall then, eh? There's so many word in the oh, uh. And I do it all. We did a dead grant to be paying you back. Oh we? That accent's a bit of a mouthful. Holy shit, look at that thing! Catch the dead, dead, oh my gosh, big tongue sticking out. Ugh. Oh, oh, it's just like kind of big chunks of him off. Glaucus, I confess I pride myself today. It's been ages since I landed to catch this big. Surely you enough to feed it at king, at everyone in the kingdom. The charming charfinch. Yar, get a load of this fine snap of charfinch in all its fiery, feathery glory. If you ask me, it's more beautiful than even the fairest princess. Look at its bright red eyes and flaming tail. Ah, truly a marvel. Dude, what are you doing? You want to die? Seriously, I think it's going to kill you. <laughs> Hold the boy in the bar. <laughs> I just love charfinches. Hello. Blah, 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 blah. Hardwind Timber. Yeah, I've, I got an idea what you might be after. I reckon you could do a lot worse than iron bow 10 or 3 or 10. The grove and hardwoods here. There. What are we waiting for? Let's go get some. Aye. Aye. That you could, laddie. That you could. But you'd not, not be wanting to go strolling in there, but fair, believe me. Listen. Blocked the path a while back. Oh, oh, okay. That's what that area that was blocked off. Problem is, see, this great big beastie with fuss is so short, he sway. He doesn't even have one. Uh huh. There's another way of getting those iron bub trees than going through this thing. It's about the size of it, eh? Oh, meeting this. Oh, a bottle of thorn away spray. Okay. That's a wee magical concoction. I like to call it a thorn away. Any, anything spiky you need to get rid of, this is your stuff. You power the pathway up with the uh, puff, puff burst. You only want to spray a puff or two of the to clear the things out. Come with us, specifically target spiky objects. That seems unlikely. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you very much, Niall. Come on, Roland. We'll start the forest right away. Time to give me some hardwood. Yeah, boy. Get out of my way. Oh, my. This must be the puff, puff burst Niall was talking about. Yeah, they look pretty spiky to me. Think he might be, must be right. So just a puff or two, didn't he? Well, here we go. All over the puff burrs. Ah, just, just dump it all over it. Oh, it's too much, lad! If you do that much, then I'll just make them bigger! They start Golly. fucking growing. Golly! They disappear just like that! Wow. Golly gee willikers! Oh, they really did. That's some pretty niche product. <laughs> you said it, Daddy. All right. Comb of runny honey. Runny honey! What do you know? There's happened to be a whole bunch of stronger enemies back here, too. <gasps> Looking to die! <laughs> oh, oh, my God. That's so cool looking. Oh. Oh. Quick and growth. Quick and growth. Whoosh. There we are. Ha, <laughs> piece of grumpy lumber. It's got a face on it. Looks pissed off. Me angry wood. A deadly tower toppler. That kind of doubt is as good as anything I've already got. Yeah, nope. That means I've been dropping a lot of good hammers. Oh, hey. Songbook number 14. They found me a bard. Oh, that's a new one. Oh, dog. I fought. That was the one. You're the thing I fought back in, uh. Uh, the trials. To get, uh, lofty. <laughs> What do you want, Higgledy? Talk about prisms. The proper evil, all dark and moody in that. Uh, now I don't have any of them. Entry level focusing ones. I'm gonna need like dark ones. Ah, okay, quick growth again. Here we are. All right. I smell a boss nearby. Hardwood's trick door. Hey! Just the eye boat trees, don't you think? Uh, they do look, they do look rather metally, don't they? Wow. <laughs> Crockett, this is the biggest trees I've ever seen in my life. Oi. I am mighty sturdy too, by the looks of them. Tidy. Here's a mega book that make proper proper battering, man. Tidy. Tidy. 
We didn't come across the monster Niall mentioned after all. Lucky us! Oh, Evan, don't say that. I'm gonna settle too soon. It can be any out there anywhere. Probably above us. Here he comes. Oh my god, it's a big old gorilla. Monkey, monkey man. Oh, looks like a, looks like a fucking yeti. Zack, the dowdy defender of the toughest timbers. There's my trees, bitch. Oh, you wanna die at me anymore? Oh, shit, where did I? No, boy! What's he plotting over there? <laughs> See my fireball fucking chased after him? Of course, he didn't you. actually hit him, though. Where's he going? Yeah. Ready to chase after him? Wait, where'd he go? Uh oh. What's he doing? Oh, boom! Okay. Wow, well, alright, was that. Do you feel better? Are you proud of yourself? Ah. You didn't accomplish anything, you big dumb monkey! Uh. Oh shit, electricity! Oh my god, you're bouncing. You are bouncing, little bunny, aren't you? Boom! Oh yeah, stun it. Oh, there we go. Boom, dead! Zag! Oh, I got a windy cloud burster. That's the blighter bag it bagged. Yeah. Yes. Now we can finally get our hands on that wood. Better over to the capstan until catch the others. We're ready for them to get started. All right, great. Yo ho ho! Oh, yo ho! Our sister, the truth, of, truth was revealed in his trial. Master Ignatius has changed. When he announced he would continue his in his role as the Grand High Roller, there's uproar. But now I'm glad he's still our ruler. Yes, you speak the truth. I don't give a shit if he was all corrupt and stuff. Yeah, because people are really that forgiving <laughs> about government corruption. Uh, hide and go seeker. Ah, uh -huh, I see what you did. Take a, take a good look. Do you recognize this place? If you do, you should come down here. Oh, uh, right. I forgot about these treasures because I've hidden a little something there that first person finds. Welcome to have. Happy hunting. Okay, I think I actually know where that is, I think. This is going to be a tough one. I don't know. Blah, blah, blah. blah. Figure this out. Oh, sweet, a new gun for rolling. Yeah, oh my god, that's what I'm talking about. Beast weapon with the power of wind. Charge stacks, build more quickly. Oh, that's cool looking, too. It's got a little turbine on it. Oh, yeah, it's right here. Ah, oh, yep, there it is. Pendant of Pluck. Magic defense boosted when low. I feel like these accessories are kind of lacking, to be honest. Oh, hey, I, got, I did get a pretty good one, though. Shiny magic muffler. It's a bit better than uh, what I have been getting, at least. It's also that one in Cloud Coal Canyon I forgot to get. I think I already know where it is, though. It's like right here at the beginning, like next to a tree. Okay, maybe not. Oh, there it is. Gotcha! Mage's Ring, okay. What'd you say, Bagda? Found a load of quality timber from the forest near Iol. Call your one, one you are, lad. There's only right good wood from, from, comes from over that way. Can't wait to have a go on it. Don't worry about fitting it in that. Well, part of the service, eh? Hey! Aye. Right, you bunch of bony little idle beggars. Let's get a move on, shall we? We are longer to be shifting. Yeah, alright. And just like that. Evan had found himself the finest boat builders in all the land, and some timber worthy of their expert attention. Eager to get to work after their recent ordeal, the men of Capstan set about putting together a ship fit for a king. And before long, a magnificent vessel that no wave could hope to topple was all but ready to set sail. I just can't stop staring at that one guy's butt there. For some reason, this guy's just not wearing any pants today. Oh, here we go. Oh, that's sexy. Oh my! This is really Oz. Blimey! Wow, it only took him five minutes. Wow, it's amazing. I love it. Good. This means we'll be able to set several hydroplus soon. All right. Yeah. Also, just opened the world up considerably to me. Your Majesty, uh, me and Salazar wondering. You not bothered if we decided to go and live with you and Evermore, would you? Really? No good, I need some fishing people. I believe this beauty put a love of, to craft right back on us. If one like us, you'll give us uh, us means to make them. Besides, you don't know the first thing about boats. We'll be letting this run into rack and ruin without having to look after it. After it. I suppose you're right. 
If you'd really like to join us, we'd be ever so happy to have you. <laughs> it's lucky, cuz I don't think Riot will be coming up. Be locking us back now. We jump up and jump shit. Hit. <laughs> ah. Oh, wait. Right? Not coming either? So set to sail. Well, nearly. Take out for a test run and make a few final tweaks yet. Flippin' heck. What? So we could go off on our voyage right away then? Sorry, lass. Need to find a final bit of Bob before she'd be ready for the off. Arr, seems we have some time on our hands. Let's put affairs in order while we have the chance, eh? Yeah, let's go back to Evermore and plan our next move. All right. All right, to Evermore. Got a boat, I've got a boat, I've got a mother flipping uh, boat. So what kind of place is Hydropolis? Do they have nice food? It's a nation built on the ocean. Or remote folk and humans live side by side. It's ruled over by a queen named Nerea. As for food, I believe the fish is very good this time of year. Blimey. You know everything, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> Just out of read, that's all. I read two whole pages of that book. I'm really looking forward to adding another nation to our union. I'm she interested to see how other kingdoms are ruled too. I still have so much to learn. So I imagine we'll be, as we go to each nation, that Carper dude's gonna come out and fuck everything up, right? Have to murder their freaking kingmaker. That's what I like to hear. Oh yeah. God! You're the one without the pants. Ah, I didn't even know. Ah, ah! Turn around, dude. Your Majesty, so fitted out and ready to set sail. I'll show them about the coast nearby. All you had to do was climb aboard and get going. Yes! That's wonderful news, Catch. Thank you so much. All right, everyone. It's time to take voyage to the Hydropolis. Yeah! Time to set sail. Audience with the queen. Yay! All together now. All aboard. Looks like it, eh? Daddy! Oh, she got king. We got a trophy, man. All right. This is sail for the seas unknown. Oh, it's the rubber. Swap the men's here. off. Use your, access your ship via the field map. Once aboard, you'll be able to sail the seas wherever you please. And even the odd river or two as well. Disembark simply press X next to a coast. However, please be aware you won't be able to do so near cliffs and other certain obstacles. And if you ever use the travel spell to jump to a trip door, don't worry. Your boat will be brought to the nearest bit of coast for your convenience. Okay, good. Hey, all right. Woohoo! I actually missed pretty quickly. <laughs> cool. Oh, I like it. I like it. Before we do that, let's go and build myself a uh, oh, a uh, boat place. The hardwoods. Niles underling. Great beastie has been looking by the animal. Grow has been, grow has been finally been sent back and not a moment too soon. Now we finally go to the deepest parts of the the woods whenever we please. So anyone in the right mind would want to want to is beyond me. Take a look at this. Have you seen a bigger boat? I have. <laughs> hey, Tani, do you like boats? It's made from iron boat trees, so nothing's going to sink it in a million years. Hydropolis, here we come. If I know better boat anywhere in the goddamn world. I drop uh, Hydropolitan Vista. Uh, the wandering wordsmith. The glittering eye light on the waves as the sun sinks beyond the sea. See sight to fire the imagination. Oh, and this is the guy that sold me the stuff in the, in the uh, Clack Oil Canyon. Indeed, I was so inspired by the natural beauty of Hydropolis, I wish to move here. So, uh, this, there are strict laws that prevent new rivals from settling here. Man, I can't wait to make my kingdom just fucking enormous. It's already freak. It is already freaking huge. All right, let's. Uh, oh my god, my coffers are already full. I'm All getting right. so much money so quickly now. All right, research ways to build better boats. Give it to me. Whoosh. Okay, we got catch here. He was already a veteran, even keeled. An aptitude born being from from capstan that can help boost work at the shipyard. So I'm guessing I can do things like make my boat move faster. A technique that uses clever rudder control to help my ship move more quickly. Yep. It's already, it already looks like it's moving pretty fast, but... Uh, basic stealth boat building. Cuts down any unnecessary noise when sailing, helping to evade enemies' notice. Oh, nice. You know, let's keep leveling it up. More! Uh, oh, and that's as big as I can get for the time being. Better flotsam spotting. Enables valuable objects in the ocean to be more easily spotted and recovered. Two staff members, no even keeled. Okay. So I'll have to get another one. Alright, high speed. There we are. Okay, basic stealth boating. Got it. Any more people here to recruit? I'm kind of feeling like probably. Ah, uh, yep. Oh, and I knew it. That one guy was a cobbler. I knew he would join us. Hey, up. Hey, little cat king, eh? Who am I so you've been taking a trip around the world? Now, I don't want to think I'm copying you out. Or maybe decide to, to opt on me, uh, on board me brand new boat and send it for a little voyage of me out. Mm. 
That sounds wonderful. We'll probably bump into each other on our travels. Aye. I happen we might. There's all a new life waiting for me on the other side of the ocean. I'm sure of it. Just spot Rowan. I'll find me a drink kingdom. What the? Hang about, man. Rowan? Rowan? Listen. You know your seafaring vessel's better than me. But are you sure Rowan boat's going to cut the intercontinental mustard? <laughs> I'll be all right. Don't worry. I have plenty of brawn to see me through. And if worse comes to worse, the old girl sinks. I can swim ashore. <laughs> I'll swim all the way to the next continent. It'd be embarrassing though, eh? Imagine how folks are laughing if my boat sink. Well, me being a ship riding all. Mm. Don't you think you should give it a trial run first? You know, just in case. If you try rowing to somewhere near Capstone, at least you can come back straight back if something goes wrong. Yeah, it's not a bad idea, Zet. Tell you what, I'll have to row down to my favorite beach before I set up properly. Not too far from here. There's right good view of the big crack of the, the sea from there at all. Probably the best, eh? To give me the idea, lad. Top it out. Oh, he's gonna die. <laughs> like a lofty's face. Crack in the sea, eh? Those means that big water, water, folly bits, ain't it? Never a bad place to start an adventure, eh? Hmm. Fair, fair enough. So, to hear that adventures are spiders to go see the world, ain't it? <laughs> it? Yes, it is. Didn't you think the beach you mentioned sound lovely? Must think it'd be ashamed not to go and see for ourselves. Okay, okay, this guy's getting even keeled. Good. You know, I felt so sorry for you after the coup and everything. I mean, it just yeah. awful. Now that you've set up a whole new kingdom, I'm ever so happy for you. Wish you ever Thank success. You. I really do. Thank you very much. You all can come and live there too if you like. You know, I can't really come to like life here in Capstone upon Hall, even though there's literally nothing to do. Oh, I see. There's one thing that's not ideal. People around here, they don't seem to be very interested in shoes. They don't seem for sandals, actually. It's hard to make a living repairing hey. those. If a kingdom was the kind of place where I could really put my cobbling towns to use, then I'd probably move there without a second thought. Maybe if you develop 25 or more different types of armor and accessories, I might be convinced that your kingdom was the place for me. Oh, what? Hey, what? <laughs> Are you serious? Oh lord, uh, I get dark, dark proof boots, dark proof boots, brutes boots. Oh god, okay. Fuck. Creative flair, dedication to unique creations that can help boost work at the outfitters. Well, I definitely don't have that yet. Okay, I made 25 things for that dude. At least it's nice enough to put a little check mark next to him when you've uh, already made it. All right, developed five, 25 different types of armor and accessories. It's incredible achievement of such a new kingdom. Does that mean you're going to move to Evermore? You know what? What? I think I am. Hope my skills prove useful to you. Sure they will. Look forward to seeing what you make for us. All right, cool. I got a dark pair of brute boots. All right, let's go see that knucklehead. See how far he got. Oh, holy shit. I, whoa, my God, I'm blue blazing now. That freaking upgrade. Woohoo! Oh, there he is. Next to these strong as shit guys. Hey, would you look at that? It's the only stone sword on Capstick. Feels like another world. I right, decided to join me, DG. It's good, lad. Would I only miss out on this? Mm. You're right. It's beautiful. What the hell? Um, wow. Okay. It's like big waterfalls floating up. So uh, we're actually kind of high up. I didn't realize we're like on plateaus here. Ah, it's only beginning. I've proven that there's not wrong me both in the world's up by your Thanks off for you, Tiller. I've got to where you're going next. Aye. Hey, lad. As a matter of fact, I have. Slide on out near Hydropolis, I wouldn't have visited. But I hear it's a place for a bloke like me. Good fishing a nice beach to lounge on as well. Oh, my! Sounds wonderful. I'm sure you enjoy living in a place like that. Well, uh, may I see you there? Talk to around that for now. Okie dokie. Don't let this motherfucker see me. Refreshing wand of wit. Oh, level 29. Yeah, I can do that. Oh, you're you big! for this? Boom! No, nothing! Ah. Thank you! Come again. Ooh, a hurly handgun! This gun will make you want to hurl! Oh, not as strong as this windy cloud buster, though. Let's copy songbook for number four. Alright, cool. It's interesting. I, I don't know if I can actually... Seems like there is... No way to get my boat to this side of the ocean. Like, you're kind of trapped in this little area here. There's a chest right there, which I need a boat to get to on the opposite side. So I know it's possible. But see, like, look at that. There's, like, a rock right there that I can't get around. Maybe I need to transport my, like, travel or something to a trip door, and then it'll somehow magically show up there. I kind of doubt that, though. Oh, got a little area right here. Floodfall Cave. See any Higgly statues, just a couple of chests full of crystals and such. Oh, I thought maybe I could run my boat underneath here. I, no, it just doesn't seem like 
at the moment I, that I can get to the opposite side of this circular area. Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Right there. No, I, I can. But I, I gotta go to that side. A cutty fish! The shit. Fish in the shape of a freaking sword. Oh, yeah, and go down these rivers, too. Whoa. Oh, my God. I'm really flying on this ship. Oh, hey. The squeeze through grotto. Because I squeezed my boat to get here. Okay, it's a tiny little area. Got any higgledy statues? Uh, what? There's nothing in here? No, I do not. Do not buy that. No, I. This is probably for a quest, right? I bet someone at some point will send me on a quest to go get a bounty, right? Like an enemy, and then he'll be in here. There's no way it's here for. This is here for no freaking reason. It's kind of curious when I run to someone on the ocean. Scuttle plutter. Just hop on the boat with me. Yep. Oh my god. Watch your backs. Ah! Ah! There we go. All dead. Oh, no. What the hell? What's this rock doing here? Maybe these go away. Like, these little rocks and stuff that are just, like, in the way preventing me from moving forward. Or I do something to get rid of them. To be to be able to get to the other side. It's just sort of like, what the hell is this? It's not even on the map, though. There's a lot of, lot of ocean, wide ocean out here. Not a whole lot of islands, though. So. Whoa, what the hell is that? Whirlpool. Oi! Okay, I got back to the ship. I messed with that shit, boy. <laughs> now I want to get out. Oh, wow. This, is, this area is funky looking. Got some chest right... Oh, right there, I. Shit, I can't actually get to. Man, this guy is really good at rowing. How the hell did you get all the way over here? <laughs> hey, my come talk about sight for sore eyes. I know idea place like this even existed. Nature of Kraken. Yep, I dropped this. The place for me. Always knew it were. Only it weren't so, so blimmin. Ah, uh, oh, takes right out of ye. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Tello. I can't see how you were getting on. Hello there. Hello there, me. My cat, little, little cat king pal. <laughs> Welcome to me new home. Make yourself an er, home. Mm -hmm. Are you all right? You seem a little tired. <laughs> yeah. I meet my head. I'm full of beans, Chuck. Oh. You don't seem full of beans. In fact, you look positively unwell. I'll be with you. The row from Capstan right out of me. I honestly like they're going to fall up by the time I got here. I bet there's nothing to eat on this fucking godforsaken piece of land. It's island. It's lovely and all, but it's a bit sorry I was expecting. A lot, in fact. I hold my kid in a flipping boiler and I don't think I can live here. <laughs> hmm. I see. Well, in that case, best thing is probably for you to head back home. You don't want to travel any further if you're not at your best. So you have to row all the way back. Yeah. Oh, to Capstan, you mean? Oh, no, no. No, no, no. I shall be doing that, lad. Tell me, Pastor, explore off to explore the world of my dream kingdom. I'll come back now, be laughing stock. Now I'm going to push on. It's the only way. I mean, you understand? We're going to go back on this world and look like a Brett Parker, can he? <laughs> I suppose so. Where are you planning going next? An open somewhere with not too much sun, but not too cold either. An end shelter site, cave or some of that. That'd be mm. ideal. Came in a place where it's not too hot, hot or cold. Well, good luck, till I hope you find look for something soon. Ah, lad, not be ready. I'll be p traveling this malarkey and settle down. Any road be be seen here. Okay, okay, it's way the heck over there. Oh, there's a scary winkle. I figured it'd be around the ocean. Any for that one person. Holy shit, look at these bottomless fucking waterfalls. We got level 43 guys over here. Fuck me. Something spooky over that way. Oh my god, what the hell? Look at all those little dudes over there. Oh, I can actually land here. Legion of the Dead. Leave, go, die, must die. Oh, blimey. Uh, there's no run in the middle of monsters you mean late to uh, that. Don't know if we were going to be going that way just now. <laughs> Might be right. Come on, everyone. We're leaving. Oh, dear. It's only level 32 pork, though. I can deal with him. Maybe not the 8 million other guys. Oh, we got a little desert area over here. Ah, oh, here's boat. Oh, God. Level 42. Dude, what the hell are you doing here? Do you want to die? Uh... Uh... Uh-oh. Oh, hey, it's one of those things. Oh, yeah, I see a little cave right there. Crawl Space Cave. Oh, I worked together, this guy. Oh, run around. Ah, this guy's dead. Is anything else in here? <sighs> now, I ain't a little cat king friend. Yeah, that's a relief. As I sit, kick the bucket out here, my own. Flip it up! Flip it up! Flip it up, man! What happened by you there? 
I know my stuff out. Right, making it air. Got this far. Not been able to move much since. I thought I'd come a cropper before me boat did, eh? Yeah, never mind. Had a good run. Aye. Sad music playing. Tilda, come on now. You can't just stay there. Let's try it and get you moving. Hmm. Yeah, hey, you're alright. That's the energy left. This is me done for. This is pretty a place to breathe me as last as any. What? Don't say that. Just need some medicine, that's all. Wait here. Wait here, we'll bring you some. If you don't mind, a sorrowway's probably put me back on my feet in no time flat. Oh, pff, a sorrowway. No, I don't have any of that. Oh. Some pots of four leaf. Oh. Wait, four leaf sorrowway? Oh, fuck me. Ah, oh, damn it. I've got this one. I don't have four leaf, though. It wouldn't happen to already be in here, would it? No. Got a blushing peach, though. Well, I guess this guy's dead. <laughs> Bye! Looks like a building collapsed itself many years ago. We'll put it go inside in its current state. Oh! I'll probably use rejuvenate on it, right? Once I've, I'm able to, uh, to research it. Damn, I was really hoping that would have a, uh, pair of cybernetic boots. Have a four-leaf, uh, sorrowway in it. Holy shit, that's pretty dope. It's like boost resist all ailments. Boost damage done by fire firearms. I don't like it. Just put that in fucking rolling! Oh, hey. It's like a... What is that? Oh, that's how you're gonna be probably to get to the outside. Oh, and there's one on the other side too. Like two little areas look like they can make bridges, right? That's probably how you, how you get to uh, the outside of this little, this island of ocean. All right, well, I managed to map out the uh, the whole area within this uh, ring of land. Got the permafrost plains over there, pinwheel flats, Lake Erie, junkyard mire. It's like Thirst Oasis, Thuncrack Dunes, Splitstone Canyon, and the Lesippi's Labyrinth. Which, that looks like endgame area, doesn't it? Well, possibly. Alright guys, this seems like a good place to end things here for now. Holy shit, this was a long recording session for me. <laughs> I got a little carried away, alright? It was, it was really... This game's really fucking addicting, okay? You just get going, you're just like, oh my god, another dude to help. I gotta get this, this thing, get this guy to draw my village, bye! But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I hope you don't mind that I, I, I had gone, made s such progress in the town. Um, anyway, if you enjoyed this episode, please leave a like and a favorite. It really does help me out. And subscribe if you're not already become a picky penguin. Boy, this will be where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. And as always, guys, till next time, stay classy.